tell people you have a Patreon at the start of the video, they said. You should always say it at the start of the video so that more people hear about your Patreon page, they said. Hint, hint. I have a Patreon. Altering clothing can be a really touchy subject in alternative fashion groups. Because you kind of have two extremes of thought. There's one group who think that altering clothing and making it yourself and DIY is the only way to do it. A lot of goths think that, you know, that um, the most true form of the fashion or the most real form of the fashion is DIY and altered and, you know, that's a legit mentality that people have. And then on the other side, you've got in Lolita fashion and other sort of small fashions, people believe it's complete sacrilege to alter clothing because a lot of these other smaller fashion groups are based heavily around artists and independent designers who are artists, but you know what I mean. And the stuff is really limited and so buying something and then altering it is seen as like taking away from the community as a whole. So yeah, in Lolita fashion and other similar small subcultures, you have this sort of alteration and sacrilege against the artists that we admire mentality and then the sort of goth and punk scene who believe that alterations and DIY are the most pure form of the fashion. And I'm kind of in between. I mean, most people are in between. You know, most people are sort of neither here nor there or they make their own personal exceptions, I guess. But I follow both of those fashions and, you know, I'm one of those people that believes that if I bought something, then it's mine and I can do whatever I like with it. So, if you're of the if you're the type of person who thinks that altering um, indie brand stuff is complete sacrilege and this is going to hurt you to watch, then I don't blame you. Look away now. <laughs> but if you're curious to find out what a bleach bath did to an old school velvet coat, keep watching. So, I'm going to show you the coat before I did anything to it. It was a blue metamorphose velvet coat from, I've forgotten what year this one is from, I want to say 2008, it could be older than that, could be slightly newer, I'm not sure, I'll look it up and put it on screen. I bought it through Frill, which is just a Japanese second hand auction website. Second hand clothes in Japan are really really cheap, so this wasn't nearly as expensive as it would have been to buy it from the Western communities because, well, there's various reasons for that that we don't need to go into right now. But the point is, I impulse bought it because I don't really wear blue that much. I realise I'm wearing a blue shirt today. Um, this is pretty much the only blue thing that I own other than this coat, which, well, isn't blue anymore. But that's not, we'll get there, we'll get there. I impulse purchased this coat because it was cheap and I love Metamorphose Velveteen stuff. I've actually seriously considered just collecting Metamorphose Velveteen releases, particularly the coats. <laughs> I might still do that, actually. It was blue. I wore it once while it was still blue. And truth be told, I wasn't really going to wear it again. And I wanted to lighten it. I thought I could maybe leave it out in the sun for a while and let it bleach out. But that would take years. I thought of all sorts of different things I could do to it. But ultimately, I figured if I wasn't going to wear it anyway while it was blue, I might as well try something with it, right? So I decided to bleach it, basically. It's where the whole point of this ramble is I decided to bleach it. I decided to do a little spot test. I took a little bit of bleach on the tip of my finger and put it inside the cuff because, you know, if it went horribly wrong, then no one would be able to see it in there. And I just wanted to see how it would work. Because bleach doesn't work on all fabrics. I think it only works on 
mostly natural fibres and if your stuff is mostly plastic or acrylic or polyester or whatever, whatever type of plastic it's called, bleach can sometimes just not, it won't take the colour out or it might melt it. Which is why if you bleach or dye a piece of clothing, um, even if it's cotton, often the stitching will stay the same colour. If you've ever tried to dye a white shirt black, any goths out there, you might have noticed that the stitching stayed white. And it's the same if you bleach something, if you put something black in, a, in bleach to lighten it to like red or brown or whatever, sometimes the stitching will stay black because it's plastic and not cotton. Anyway, the point is I wanted to test it and see what colour this fabric turned. And it turned white. It bleached really well. It turned a sort of white with a pink bloom around the edge, which I wasn't expecting. I don't I don't know why there is pink in this dye, but there is, so I just suddenly got really excited wondering what this coat was going to look like. If it was actually able to bleach all the way up to white, but with pink in between, then this project just got a lot more exciting. So I filled a bath. I didn't fill it. I put like enough to cover the coat. I put in a, a lot of bleach, which bubbled up because I forgot that bleach bubbles up when you pour it in the bath, but you know, whatever. I made a little bleach bath and then I dumped the coat in it and all that was left to do was wait. Oh, first I detached the detachable cuffs. The cuffs button onto this coat, so I took them off to bleach them separately. I don't know why. I don't know if that's really necessary, but I did it. I didn't take off the buttons or anything that I would have to sew back on. I know some people like to do that, but I didn't. It didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So I wasn't very patient, to be honest. I just kept checking on it every few minutes. <laughs> Sometimes every couple of seconds, I would just, every time I was wandering past the bathroom, I looked in and I would prod it and stick it back under the water because of course it bubbles up and floats to the surface. And I realised eventually that um, the fabric that was under the water wasn't bleaching at all. And it was probably because the bleach will be on the surface of the water, so the fabric that was also on the surface of the water was bleaching out a lot faster. So, I don't know, I probably could have left it in the bath and let it bleach out evenly, which I considered doing, but I really liked the way that it bloomed pink around the edges of the bleached parts, so I decided to pour in more bleach. And I scrunched it up, I squished it back under the bubbles, I flipped it over at one point as well, just to make sure that both sides kind of got bleach all over them. I forgot to keep track of how long it was actually in the bath, <laughs> but I suppose it must have been maybe maybe an hour. It wasn't that long, to be honest. It wasn't that long. It was maybe an hour that it was in there. And it was starting to come up so many different colours. It was like, it's pink and the bits that haven't bleached out so much are still violet, obviously, because the pink's coming through the blue. Some parts of it stayed blue, but a lighter blue. Some parts that went completely white. There were some parts that were a little bit orangey-yellow for a little while there. Those didn't stay, but that was interesting. <laughs> I don't know. It worked out so much better than I ever could have imagined. Once I decided that the coat had been in the bath long enough, I threw it in the washing machine because I needed to get all the excess bleach out of it. I couldn't just leave it to dry in there because then it would be gross. You know, it would stink. It would probably still be sticky and slippery from all the bleach. So I put the coat inside a pillowcase. Just pro tip, if you want to machine wash anything delicate, put it inside a pillowcase so that it doesn't get battered around too hard. I put it in a pillowcase, put it in the washing machine and let it rinse and then hung it up to dry and 
your ass. I clipped on a little flower because it goes with it. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is my favourite coat now. I'm just, I'm so in love with it. I'm going to insert some clips of little close-ups of it, of how it bleached out and what it looks like. You can see where some parts stayed blue and some parts went completely white. Some parts that stayed lavender. Now, I should mention the lacing in the back. As you, can you see that there's space for corset lacing in the back? I took that out because I take corset lacing out of anything, really, because I just don't like corset lacing. I have no idea how that ribbon would have responded to bleach. I can imagine it wouldn't have bleached, though. It probably wouldn't have bleached. But I don't know, because I took it out. Although, having said that, I am thinking that if I got maybe a nicer ribbon, I might put one back in there. I was thinking one of those, you know the sheer glittery ribbons? Maybe one of those? Or maybe, honestly maybe even a pink or white ribbon might be nicer? I don't know. I'll give it some thought, but for now I took the corset lacing out. Now, you can see what I mean about um, the stitching and how thread doesn't bleach or dye. You can still see the blue in the buttonholes and inside the pockets. So even if I did leave this in the bath and let it go completely white, which is interesting that it would actually lighten that far, but if I did that it would still have blue stitching, which would be kind of a cool look, potentially. Also, I like knowing that it could potentially bleach more, so that if I ever get sick of it looking like this, I'll just dump it in another bleach bath and maybe lighten it all the way to white. I don't know. It's an endlessly evolving look now. <laughs> do you alter your clothes or do you preserve them just as they are? Let me know what, what camp you fall into there. Or do you prefer to make things yourself? Do you think it's better if things are altered and made by hand and are more unique that way? Let me know. I have another coat that I'm going to work on. You can see it in the background. The dark, the dark pink burgundy one there. I plan on dyeing that darker. I've got red dye that I'm going to throw at it and see how it goes. I will probably make a video about that too. Let me know what you think of my new coat. Well, kind of new. Does it count as new? I think it counts as new. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what to do. I make new videos every weekend. And support us on Patreon. Yeah, thank you. Bye.